Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will uh, try to learn the sessions. Whenever we try to make any web application using any kind of uh, web uh, application framework, let's say PHP, Laravel, or .NET, or Flask, or Django, or whatever framework you use, you have to have used sessions. So I don't think that uh, a web application, a uh, dynamic website application can be made without sessions. So uh, what are the sessions? If I try to find uh, uh, some uh, definition from the web, so there are some sort of uh, web applications like a session is a group of user interactions with your website that take place within a given time frame. Or uh, some people define like uh, what is a web application, how it is useful. Session is a term used to refer users time browsing a website. So whenever you uh, hit a URL and uh, you just try to open a web application, so a session is created between you and the website and the session is uh, unique. So there are so many other definitions and the concepts you can uh, Google and can read some good books. But for me, a session is a global local variable. So why I'm saying it is global, it is a local global variable. So it's a local, it means whenever a user is connected with uh, uh, any website, so a local uh, set of variables he can create. For example, if I create a variable username, so that variable is only accessible to me. If another user, user also connect the same website, so we will see in the demo also. So it, uh, another variable will be created username and it will be a local variable. It means that that variable can be used only by that particular user that is interacting with the website. Uh, so, uh, uh, and the session variables are stored on the server side they are not stored in the uh, client side but uh, the client the javascript or your html can easily interact with these uh, variables so let's see a small demo first uh, then i will explain the code the demo is let's say uh, i have just made a very black and white pages uh, just for the demonstration uh, I try to access my index page, but I cannot access my uh, uh, my index page without having my form logged in. So my username I have kept Junaid and the password I have kept something that I will show you in the code. If that username and password is given correct, so then I can access my main index page. This is my index page that takes your first name, last name, then it takes what uh, programs you are, whatever the page is then you can access. But without login you cannot access. For example, if I keep a logout and then if I try to hit the, my index page, then I cannot see that the content of my page unless I have logged in. So uh, the session variables, as, as I said, eh, these are the global variables also. It means if you declare a variable, uh, in a session then you can access in your uh, uh, whole application and in application there can be more than 100 pages so once a session is declared that variable can easily be accessed in any page that uh, that website has uh, in its directory so uh, let's come to the code so here is a small code so I have uh, made two templates uh, it means two HTML pages one is uh, index and one is login so to use the Flask sessions, uh, uh, the, let, uh, let's see the first line from Flask, import Flask, uh, then the Flask is to run the server, then render template is for uh, uh, rendering the HTML pages, request is to read the forms and the session is the variable just I have to include. Uh, if I include this, it means the sessions are enabled. Just one more thing I have to do that I will show you. And the two more things I have used, redirect and URL4, and we will see why. So uh, we know that uh, we have to start the app, so the Flask app. And without this secret key, uh, we cannot use the sessions. So if you have to use the sessions, you have to have a very uh, complex uh, key that cannot be guessed. So in this case, I have used a very simple key. Hi, this is my app. So include session from the flask and 
define a secret key then it is good to go so you can use the sessions so here is my uh, index route and uh, all I have to say if the session is the, the a, a kind of uh, dictionaries you can say uh, Python dictionaries we know that we have a key and we have a value so if I say if session dot get this is the key key is username and you can keep whatever the session variable name you can keep it so if session dot get exist then show me the index file right the index that HTML content I can only see if my session username is created let's say I cannot see any content in index.html unless I have logged in. So if this variable exists, whatever the value of this variable, we don't know. Uh, but if this exists, then I can see this page. If this does not exist, then I should be seeing login.html. So it is the case. See, I am uh, accessing the main route, let's say index route but I am not seeing the page I am seeing the login page so what happens you hit the index route it comes in and it tries to check if the username uh, variable which is a session variable exists or not if it exists it will show you the index file if it does not exist it will take you to the login uh, page in login page it is I have, I have tried to keep it as simple as it can be it takes uh, as a two uh, text boxes one is username one is a password and one uh, submit button uh, when you uh, submit the button it takes you to the route slash login though it is not recommended to use the uh, the uh, forms uh, actions like this I should be using URL 4 but uh, just to keep things simple I am saying that Whenever the user hits the button login, it will take you, you to, to the route slash login. So what the slash login does, so this is a slash login. Uh, the methods are post and get both. The get is it will show you the login page and the post is used if you uh, answer the use, correct username and password, then the, that information will be posted to the server. So by default message is login first and if request.method is post it means uh, you are posting something so we will see it later but as you hit the URL login let's say if I say that slash login so what happens login first this variable is created login first and this is is not a post method this is a get method because I am getting I am hitting the URL directly like this so whenever I hit the URL directly or redirect it, then that is a get method. So if it is not a post method, it is a get method. It says that show me a login page and print me the message. So it happens like this. This is the message as I'm showing H1 and then the login form is there that I have explained to you. So what happens? The login form is uh, shown to you. So in that login form, I have two form uh, attributes two text boxes one is the username and uh, one is the password so the username is let's say Junaid and the password I have kept is something if I write something wrong and uh, I said login it will say incorrect username and password so it should be authenticated by your uh, database so uh, later in my next videos when we will study ORMs uh, in that I will try to connect my login table uh, with my uh, uh, with my uh, website so on the login form when you click the login button what happens it it read he it posts post you to the route slash login so the message is created in this time the if request dot method is equal to equal to post is true because from login you are posting something okay if you post then I should get two I should try to read the two controls that I have defined on my login page one is the username and one is the password and the username is either capital or small doesn't matter we know that so it is a good convention that whenever you take a username you either make it capital or make all letters small 
So if I said user dot lower is equal to Junaid and the password is my app, then this variable username which I was trying to hit at the index is created with the name Junaid, right? So for example, if you give a proper username and password and whatever is your name, that the session of the variable will be your uh, name or the username and then it it uh, opens the index.html right so we can uh, see that uh, page else incorrect username and password and it again doesn't let you law to go to the uh, index route so this is very simple thing for example uh, if I give a correct username and password let's say uh, Junaid Maya. So the session is uh, created, and if I uh, create another session of the web, let's say it is not allowing me, or yeah, like this. So I just try to hit index. I can see my index content because the variable session uh, username is created see but if I try to open a uh, in cognitive view then so uh, accidentally so this is my uh, in cognitive view if I try to hit here then I uh, another uh, session is created in the browser uh, we know that uh, when we open uh, in cognitive view uh, it does not use your current uh, cookies information and the sessions so another session is created though I have properly logged in or if I can if I use another browser let's say uh, uh, Firefox or a Firefox I open the same thing it will take me to the login page so if I log in here, let's say the username is Junaid and the password was my app. So this is another session is established between the my browser and the server. And the variable username is now global. So later on if I say log out me, so what the lo logout route does, logout routes clears all the sessions created so you can create more than one variables in the sessions <clears throat> you can keep a very complex information in a session let's say you can uh, 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 store uh, dictionaries you can store arrays you can store uh, maybe a lot of uh, uh, database uh, entries let's say I show you one of the uh, app that I have been working with let's say this uh, admin home so if I cannot access this with a proper credential then this is connected with a very long heavy database the size of the database is now let's say 100 MB and one can say so these all informations are stored in my sessions and I can pass this session uh, to my all pages so now you have to do more practice so if you have a question, just post your questions under my video and I will try to answer all those.